Hey everybody. So it's been two years since I made a video last and I do apologize for that. College has kept me very busy as well as emotionally some things have come up and I do plan to get into that in a future video. But what I wanted to talk about today is the fact that it's been eight years since I became paraplegic as of December 28th and there's been a lot of ups and downs through the years. I will admit that, but I'm finally at a place where my health is stable enough to where I can go out and actually have fun with friends and do things. Before it, all I did was lay in bed all day because my heart would race or something would happen to cause problems. I wanted to mention the fact that I went over my past videos and it, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. You have these like moments of looking back at your past self after you mature and you get older and you notice little things you wouldn't have in that moment. I noticed that although I completely still support everything I said in all my other videos, I never really fell into an obvious depression. I never kept, I never gave up. I kept moving forward no matter what. and. That's a good thing. I also noticed that when looking back, I had moments where I would be very angry. I was very frustrated with my body because it was not listening to what I wanted it to do, which is obviously a thing that happens with paralysis. You can't move your legs. You have to figure out new things. And as you are learning these new things, you... you you probably should be talking to somebody when you go through such a drastic change. I never really did. I never talked to a therapist. I did talk to my dad when I had really bad moments, but there were still some things that the way I coped probably wasn't the healthiest. I just wanted to say that you definitely, if you are going through a situation like this, consider talking to somebody. And if you don't feel comfortable talking to a therapist, definitely talk to a friend or a family member because it can go a long way into helping. I've been basically just trying to figure out how to become more independent and I'm still working on that. Uh, I It's basically every single day I am still trying to figure out new ways I can do something myself and not have to rely on somebody else and even after eight years there are still new things I'm figuring out and that is okay. I, I think at this point I'm stable enough to realize it is okay to have to take so long to figure things out because I went through so many different downgrades in my health and now I'm finally to the point where I can work on myself and the biggest goal is to finally be on my own. My body still doesn't work with me sometimes. I still get frustrated but it's not to the point of being extremely upset about it. I just kind of, you know, go with the flow. And so I can say that even though those videos were important to me in the past and I would never delete them, I definitely support them more now because of where I am than when I made them. And that being said, I now have time to make videos more often. And so I plan to make videos saying that basically little moments of my life and I also want to go into let's plays because video games have become a very big part of who I am and so I really do hope you guys considered subscribing and joining my basically my life and I will post my tumblr and twitter below and I really hope you guys join thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day Bye.